today is wednesday and i hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome wednesday me i'm not all that good man yesterday i tried to blackmail you guys to get a thousand likes on a video and i didn't get a thousand likes you know i almost didn't get out of bed so yes red live is not doing all that great if you do want to cheer me up let's get a thousand likes on this video heck maybe i'll be known as youtube's put my thousand but moving right along from that i do have some red hot news for you today the topics that we'll be discussing are on screen right now and the timestamps will be in the description down below now before we get into the news if you are new to this glorious channel and haven't subscribed do hit that red subscribe button hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads with that said hello and welcome to raid live our first topic sabc's uzalo holds production as a cast member test positive for covid 19. so south africa's most watched telenova uzalo is the latest show to hold production due to covid 19. now one of the cast members of uzalo has reportedly tested positive for covid 19 and in keeping with the health and safety protocols to flatten the curve of the virus the production has decided to hold production now uzalo actually stopped production last week friday once they learned of the news there was also a statement to the media from Pepsi Pukani of stained glass productions that produces Uzalo. The statement reads as follows, SAPC One's most watched soap opera Uzalo has come together to offer a heartfelt compassion and support to a colleague who has tested positive for COVID-19. Production on Uzalo was immediately halted on Friday upon notice at a cast member testing positive for COVID-19. The statement goes on to say, we offer sincere wishes and support to our colleague in accordance with COVID-19 safety protocols, Uzalo Production said has undergone an intensive disinfection process to further minimize the risk of contamination as part of production's regular health and safety practice. Now there was no actual date given as to when production will resume. Now Uzalo in the meantime will continue to air on SABC1 without interruptions. Do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about another production house having to shut down because of one of its members testing positive for COVID-19. To be honest with you, I'm actually waiting for the point where if you call into work and you're like, hey boss, I got the COVID, I tested positive for COVID-19, your boss then asks you something along the lines, how are your symptoms? Are they really bad? Can you still come into work? That is what I'm waiting for. Our next topic, blood and water star Amakamata test positive for COVID-19. So Netflix drama series blood and water star Amakamata has revealed that she has tested positive for COVID-19. Now Ama plays one of the lead characters in blood and water she plays the character of Bulen Kumalo and like I said earlier she has announced that she has tested positive for COVID-19 she did so in an Instagram live video now she does say in that video that she has mild symptoms and that the only thing that she is currently experiencing is a lack of smell and taste apart from that she does reassure everyone that she is fine let me play that video for you guys real quick hey guys hi everyone uh, so I just want to take this video just to like announce um and tell everyone that i have tested positive for covid um i feel fine honestly i have very mild symptoms only thing i think i experienced or am experiencing is just i can't smell or like taste anything but other than that like i feel fine um but i wanted to take this video to just like tell everyone to stay indoors if there's no reason for you to leave your house like don't and if you are leaving your house, like always make sure you guys sanitize, keep your distance, wear a mask. And guys, we're going to get through this, you know. Like the saying goes, tough times never last when you tough people last. So we'll be fine. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, do keep in mind that tough times never last, only tough people last. And I, for one, am going to outlast this pandemic. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about that video of Ama confirming that she has tested positive for COVID-19. Our next topic, Mishali talks about confronting a cheating partner and being taken for a fool. It's been a hot minute since we talked about the beautiful influencer Michali Damase. Now Michali has opened up on social media about the moment that she realized that her partner was cheating on her. Now to be honest with you this was a little bit of a surprise because Michali is more of a very private person when it comes to her love life, private life if you want to call it that. But it does seem that this time around she couldn't help but talk about her experiences of confronting a cheating or a suspected cheating boyfriend. 
Now all of this actually started when she was responding to a user on social media who wrote, am I the only one that goes through a guy's stuff after spending the night? Look first and foremost in reply to this particular user's tweet, I don't know why you're going through your guy's stuff, it's just creepy unless you're planning on freaking ironing some unironed clothes, I don't know why you're going through his stuff. But this is not about me, it's about Michali and she responded to that and wrote, yo, I'll never forget when I found lipstick stains on the mouthwash bottle. Well, that, that is a, that is a that. Lipstick stains on a mouthwash bottle. Mm, Michali, I feel for you. I honestly feel for you. But I would like to assure you that in an alternate universe, you and I are probably dating. So you will never find any stains on no bottle. I mean, maybe stains on a tooth, but you know what? Never mind. Michali also posted another tweet and this one reads, When I found makeup on a towel, I called my mother and asked if I should leave or stay. At that point, Bendy weak. Yo, gunina matota slumez. The last part for those that don't understand Kosa translate to something along the lines, men have been hurting us for the longest time. Now she did post another tweet a sort of like looking back at your life and seeing how far you've come. That tweet reads as follows, sometimes you must look back at your moments and laugh, appreciate how far you have come. 100% we live and we learn. But fellas and ladies as well, don't get me twisted and think that, hey man, Michali kind of converted me into sympathizing with women. Women are just as evil, if not more evil than us men. But that is a topic for another day. So do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about Michali's comments about confronting a cheating partner and being hurt by men. Our next topic, Maps Maponyani and Poiti fuel relationship rumors again. So Maps Maponyane and Boiti have kind of reiterated that they are good friends. But of course, Boiti has also made jokes about her and Maps being Mzanti's power couple. Now, like I said, this is not the first time that rumors suggesting that the two are dating have come up. It does seem that they just can't seem to shake the rumors and they do not help the situation by the subtweets and the somewhat flirting that they do on social media. Now, the latest incident to fuel those rumors, Boiti took to a social media account and posted the following can't wait for my husband to leave 100k on my dressing table for brunch with the girls personally i saw this and i was like mm, 100k for brunch with the girls is definitely not aimed at me but the most interesting reply was from mr Bans himself maps maponyane he posted the following gif that reads i gotta go to work so according to that it seems that boiti wants a rich man and maps maponyane is ready to put in the work to make that money so I suppose the only thing to say is comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Boiti and Maps Maponyane's tweets and do you think that they would make a beautiful hunky couple. But anyways, we have come to the end of today's Red Hot News. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do by now. Give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.